Hey you guys, it's your girl here, Random Manning Johnson. My daughter's directing this video for me. So, um, I wanted to shoot a quick video. I was sitting out here on my uh, patio on the Lanai. I'm so fancy. <laughs> Just kidding, seriously though. I was sitting out here on my patio doing some copywriting for a client. And so I wanted to give you guys a, a quick business tip. I get a lot of inbox messages, um, people asking me business questions on, you know, how to get started and, you know, things like that. So, um, today I you know wanted to make good on my promise of beginning to do shoot more videos and doing some more blogging and blogging to you know help you guys guide you in the right direction as far as uh, your business goes so today I, I want to talk to you guys about brand identity and I kind of have five steps that I uh, use when uh, helping my clients develop their brand and so I kind of wanted to go through that list of things and um, let you guys know exactly what it is you need to do to establish your your brand in the marketplace so the uh, first thing I tell them to start with would be a vision statement and basically what your vision statement is is what does the future of your company look like um, you know what is the vision you have for your company do do you see yourself in, in a storefront do you see yourself selling online you know a warehouse you know what is the vision you have for your company uh, second would be your mission statement and what the mission statement is is basically what is the purpose of your company you know what is your company here for what do you plan to do and I know a lot of people get it uh, intertwined the vision and the mission they're not the same they're two totally different things so you need to make sure that those two things are established third would be the personality of your business I know you're like what the personality of my business and basically with the personality of your business is how does your business speak to the people what does it say to your target market you know how are you going to tug at the heartstrings of those people to get them to compel them to use your service or to to use your products you know what is the personality of your company uh, fourth would be the the positioning of your company meaning you know how do you bring value to the to the marketplace you know what what does your company what's the value of your company what what are you bringing to the table per se um, and fifth would be what does your what does your brand look like to you meaning logos colors um, service marks trademarks what does your company look like what are people going to see what are they going to associate you with what are they going to to see and and feel when they when they see either your logo or your, your colors of your logo you know what does it look like you know and that's basically how you establish your brand identity if you think about companies like like Nike companies like Coca-Cola you can see their symbols without seeing the name and know exactly what they are and you know who they are and what they do so you know how are you gonna establish that and you one way that you establish that is through logos uh, through colors service marks trademarks um, and all those things are very, very important, as well as making sure that your brand is consistent. I see here on Facebook and on Twitter and, you know, and all these social media mediums, people using to so many, like, oh, I'm not going to give you names, but <laughs> forgive me for that. But there, there's a, a company, a, a fairly new company that has a, a logo. It's actually, they have several logos and they're kind of different and they every week they're kind of posting different messages with different logos and so those kind of things are confusing to the to your target market you want to make sure that everything is consistent all the way across the board meaning you know always use your 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 you choose the logo and use that logo choose colors and use those colors and be consistent make sure that all your collateral lines up make sure collateral being your letterhead your um your envelopes and you know correspondence all of those things are all your website you know your domain name if you can uh, I saw somebody doing a survey on what should what should my uh, domain name be and it was a domain name that kind of didn't really speak to what their company name was so if you can buy your domain name do that now even if you haven't started your company buy your own personal name as well as your domain uh, company domain name for the future so that you do have it and you're not in the position where you're gonna have to to uh, enter sorry I'm half flies out here for some reason you're gonna have to intertwine you know words and play to try to make a domain name for your company so if you are thinking about starting a company but you don't know when buy your domain name now um, as well as your personal name 
even if you don't plan on using that for anything, you never know what might come up down the line by your personal name as, as a domain as well. So, I'm not, it was just a few, a few quick tips that I wanted to give you guys. I'm not going to give you too much because, you know, this is what I do, so I'd have to charge you. You'd all be getting invoices in the mail down the line. So, um, again, this is your girl, Random Annie Johnson, and I just wanted to give you guys a few quick tips on establishing your brand identity. And if you want uh, some more tips, you can go on over to www.workwithranda.com, or you can visit my PR page at, uh, not my page, my website, or my page. Look me up. Google me. Random Manning Johnson. I'm all over the place. Uh, but you can look up my page at rmjpublicityandmanagement.com or www.rmjpublicityandmanagement.com and get some tips and tools on how to get started in business. Reach out to me. I'm open and available. I always accept new clients or at least helping people or referring you to somebody who can if I if we don't, you know, line up together. But um, yeah, again, you guys have a great day. Hopefully those tips helped you. And uh, see you guys again soon, hopefully on the other side. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.